although audition only can edit audio files but there will be times when we will need to import video file also we can't edit the video files in audition but we may need video file as a reference while editing audio files for synchronization purposes now the way to open a video file is exactly the same i will go to files panel and then i will click on this open file button in this dialog box from this list we can see which video formats are allowed in adobe audition for example if we go through from this list here we can find avi movie MPEG movie, QuickTime movie, even it supports Red Raw file, and it also supports MP4. Let's go to our course folder and then go to Exercise Files, Media. Here we have two video files. I would like to open this file in Audition, so I will select this video file and then I will click on Open. You can see our video file is imported in Adobe Audition and we can preview our video here. This is our video file in files panel and if we expand our file we can see this is our video and this is our audio. We can further expand our audio and we can see this is left channel and this is right channel. To work with audio and video at the same time this workplace edit audio to video will be the best match. So let's jump to this workplace. As you can see, now we have a better workplace for working on video and audio at the same time. Now if we play our video from the beginning by pressing the spacebar button from keyboard. Hi there, welcome to this exciting match. We can see that it's already really well synced. Now suppose we want to make a change in our audio file and then we want to export our video as a new file. Let's say I want my new video file with decreased audio volume. So I will come in waveform editor and then I will reduce volume of my audio from here. These waveforms show that volume of my audio is decreased. But it's better for us to decrease the volume of this video from multi-track session. So let's undo this change and then let's go to files panel I will select this video file and click on insert into multi-track button. Then select new multi-track session. Now let's select the folder location from here. I will go to course folder, exercise files, importing media files and select folder. Then leave all other settings as it is and click OK. Now we can see our video in multi-track session. And this is our video panel. In multi-track session, this is our video reference track and this is our video layer. This is our audio track, track 1 and this is our audio layer. Like waveform editor, we can move our playhead around here. Now let's do the same thing what we wanted to do in waveform editor. We want to decrease the audio of our video and then save it as a new file. So for that I will come here and select that yellow line and drag it downward to reduce its volume to minus 10 dB. Now if we hear our video, we can notice that the volume of our audio is decreased. So as we can hear that the audio volume of our video is decreased. Now I would like to save my video as a new file. For that I will go to file, export. And then I will click on export with Adobe Media Encoder, which will create a new video file. So that is how we import video in Adobe Audition. We can edit audio in waveform editor also, but if you want to save your video as a new file later, then we will have to work in multi-track session.